In this video we will look into a little bit more how to use drag and drop method and how to handle the camera. We will also use a couple of commands such as blend and chamfer. And we will create this part. So I will close this scene first. Then I will start a new scene. And I will begin with dragging an extrude shape. Drop it here in the scene. Then I come down here to change the camera angle and I will change it to top front right. And when you have the cursor over the, the top front right command, you will see that there is a shortcut. You can use the I key on the keyboard to change the camera angle. So I will use the shortcut by pressing the I key on the keyboard to change the to a top front right. Then we will also use the fit scene command. You can click here if you want to, but you can also use the D key on the keyboard, D as David. So I press D for fit scene. Then I select the box so that I come to the IntelliShape level. And we see that uh, this handle is already selected. So I can change the size here to 80 and hit enter. And when I hit enter, this handle is selected, so I will type 60 here. And when I hit enter, the height handle is now selected, so I type 50 and hit enter. Then I will use the D key for fit scene, like so. Then I will continue with dragging a cut extrude. And I will drop it here. And I will change the size. I grab this green handle and hold the shift key to snap to this side and then I grab this red handle use the shift key to snap to this side then I will select this red handle and type 60 and I select this green handle and type 20 and I will select the lower height handle and type 25 and hit enter and then I will round this edge by using blend edges command. So I come up here, select the blend edges command. And if we come over to the properties here on the left hand side, we see that we have several blend types. But we will use the first one, the constant blend type. So, and uh, I will select this edge. But if you by mistake select a face, for instance, and you want to remove that selection, you can come over here to the properties on the left hand side. And here in this geometry box, you have your selections. And now there is only one selection, the face we have selected. To remove that selection, you right click here in the box, you can select delete or clear. The difference between these two is delete will remove the selected row and clear will clear the whole box. If you have several selections, clear will remove all selections. So in this case, I will choose uh, delete to remove the selection. And then I will make sure that I will select the edge. And we see that we have a couple of handles. We can use the handles to make uh, some adjustments, perhaps like so. And if we come over to the properties, we can type in an exact value. So in this case, I will type 15 and hit enter. Then I will click OK up here, like so. And But I want to round this edge as well. So I come up here to select blend edges again. Then I will select the edge. And I want this blend to go all the way to this edge. So I'll grab this handle. Then I'll hold the shift key and I will snap to this edge like so. And then I will right click and click OK to confirm the command. Next step is to cut a hole here. So I will come over to the starter catalog and I will select a cut cylinder. And I will drop the cylinder here on the center point of this radius. Drop it there and the diameter handle is already selected so I will type 20 to change the diameter. But I want the hole to go right through the part 
so I will grab the lower height handle, then I use the shift key to snap at to the bottom of the part. So now we have a hole that goes right through the whole part. Then I will move the camera to this side and I will um, chamfer this edge. So I come up here to select chamfer edges. And if we go to the properties here on the left hand side, we have several chamfer types. But we will use the first one, the distance. That will give me a 45 degree chamfer. So I would select the edge. But if you by mistake select a face, you can come over to the properties, go to this geometry box and right click. In this case, I will choose clear to remove the selection. So now I make sure that I select the edge and I have also here a couple of handles so I can make some adjustments, rough adjustments, perhaps like this. But uh, I will type in an exact value here in the properties. Here in the distance box I will type 15 and hit enter. And I will hit enter again to confirm the command, like so. Then I go back to this side with the camera and uh, I will blend these edges. So I will come up here to select blend edges and I will select this edge. And uh, well, the blend is too large. So I'll come over to the properties here and change the value to two millimeters and hit enter. All these edges are now selected. And that's because if we come over to the properties, we see that under the advanced options, smooth connected is selected. So if I uncheck this box, the one I selected is now highlighted. But when this option is selected, smooth connected, all edges that has a smooth connection will be selected. And I want it to be like this. Then I will right click here the scene and click OK. And I will also chamfer the edges here on top of the hole and also at the bottom. So I will come up here to sh uh, select chamfer edges and I will type uh, two millimeters in the distance box, hit enter to confirm the, the value. Then I will select this edge and the edge at the bottom, like so. Then I will right click to confirm the command. If I want to make some adjustments to this blend, I can select the blend. So I will click here until I select the blend. Then I will see uh, this box where I can select the value and I will type for instance 10 millimeters and hit enter. I can also change the blend here. I can select the blend if I want to, but now I have four boxes, value boxes to change. Or instead of changing everyone one by one, I can come over to the scene browser, expand the part and go down here to, to the selected blend and right click and uh, choose edit feature options. Here I can change the radius for all selected edges. So for instance, I will change to one and hit enter. So all selected edges will have the same value. Then I will click OK up here and we have now we have a blend of one millimeter. I can also change this chamfer by clicking until we come to the chamfer level. And I can change the value here in the box to one millimeter. And it will only change the selected one. It will not change the chamfer at the bottom. So now I will use the I key to, to change to uh, top front right and I will also use the D key for fit scene. Now we have finished this, uh, this part but if you want to you can continue to create holes and chamfer the holes or you want, can chamfer the edges or blend the edges just to practice how to use the blend and chamfer commands. But I will close this scene and I will not save the scene so I will click no.